I'm Chris from Cinti Studios and today I'll be showing you how to get started with the Cinti Sidekick characters. Once you've downloaded the Unity package from the Cinti store, we'll create a new URP project. I'll be using Unity 2021.3.36 with the URP template. And once the project's opened, we can import the Sidekick Unity package, and then click Import. Once that's finished importing, the Sidekick tool will open. If not, you'll find it under Cinti Sidekick Character Tool. For the tutorial, I'll be using the included Sidekick character demo scene. If you're wanting to test out the characters, the Randomize Character button will randomly select from our presets. The presets are made up of head, upper body, and lower body. Starting with the head and the human species selected, we'll run through creating our own character from the presets. You can cycle through the presets or use the drop down to select a specific preset. Then we'll do the same for the upper body and the lower body. We also include a variety of preset body types, and all of these options we have a randomize button. We also include a variety of color presets for species, outfits, attachments, and materials. And lastly, in the presets tab, we can also select the species. So if we change this to a goblin, some of the body parts will change to a goblin, or if we hit randomize character, we'll then generate a full goblin character. So the presets are good to get up and running nice and fast with your character, but if you want to make something from scratch or customize what you have here, you can do so under the parts tab. Everything in the parts tab works similar to the presets. We have a species filter and we can come in and select a body part using the buttons or selecting a specific part from the drop down menu. We can refine our character a little further under the body tab. We have three sliders to control the body shape. And we can tweak the colours of our character under the Colours tab. Once we're finished creating our character, we can save an SK file using the Save Character button. And with the Load Character button, we can load any of our previously saved characters, come into the tool and continue to make edits. Once we're happy with how it looks, we can press Export Character as Prefab and save the prefab. Now in our human custom folder, we'll find a combined prefab that is ready to use. Hope you found the tutorial useful. If there's anything specific that you want to see more of, then let us know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel to keep up to date with all of our latest videos, or check out our community discord, the link is in the description.